Breaking news. Nathan Corkery, after 39 appearances and 18 goals, has moved to Odeby. A team in the English United Counties League Premier Division that looks like they might be going up. Oh dear. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Season 2, Episode 6 of the Two Manager Project. If you've been paying attention to the opening credits, or you've watched Episode 1 of the Two Manager Project Extra, then you'll know that Manager 2 is no longer at Bista. If you want to find out more, and you haven't yet, go watch that video. Otherwise, let's have a look at where Bassett are. Currently line 6 in the Hellenic League Premier Division. Things are not going wonderfully. Last time out... You saw us at Flackwell Heath, or at home to Flackwell Heath, and we won 3-1. But it's been a bit spotty. November's definitely better than October, but that loss against Abingdon hurts quite badly. So uh, we're looking to bounce back with a win against Doctor City Nomads that we have a terrible, terrible record against. So we will see how that goes. We joined Manager 2 in English Southern League Premier Central, sitting in 13th place with Hales Owen. Uh, we've had one game in charge. It was a draw, 3 all. Um, we did well to go 2 nil up and then 3 one up, but unfortunately it kind of collapsed. And that uh, 90th minute goal, which I think was off a uh, corner or possibly a free kick, either either or, it was uh, painful. So that was a shame. Today we're up against St Neots, who actually sit 8th in the league. So they are above us. So it would be nice to get a result against them. They're more than three points ahead, so we'll see. But we're only expected to finish mid-table, but I'd... Maybe like to push it a little bit higher, I don't know, we'll see. But uh, we're certainly not going to get up anywhere near the top. But if we can beat our expectations, that's a good start. And then we can look to uh, start strongly on the next season. That's it at home to Oxford City Nomads. Curtis Meir and goal, a back four of Smalley, Knott, Clark and Pursehouse. In midfield on the left we have Garner, central midfield, Denby and Carr. With Charlie Barker out on the right. Up front, it's Hetsky and making his debut. It's our new poacher, Tom Fisher. He's already scored eight goals and 17 starts this season with four assists for Ardley, no less. So uh, he's also had a career of 21 goals and 37 games to them. So I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful he'll do well. So he gets to start up front with Hetsky, And we'll see how it goes. We should challenge them to pick up where we they left off. All right, then. Go on, let's get revenge. I like to get revenge. Kick off. Raw Wooten Bassett in the blue with yellow socks. Apparently I like that manager. And Oxford City in the yellow with blue socks. So yeah, we've uh, never beaten Oxford City. Oh, Hetsky, he's dispossessed him. Oh, goodness gracious. That was exciting. We forced a corner Hetsky to take it. High one into the middle, claimed by West, Oxford City goalkeeper. Well, that was a, that was not expected. That was exciting. I think I'm going to tell us to uh, get creative. There we go. Don't be pressured, Curtis. You'll be fine. And we'll see how Mr. Fisher does on his debut. It's not... Uh, can't always guarantee anything, but... Trying long balls, eh? All right. Well, do you, I believe my assistant manager, Hallahan, Coakley, Treadwell, Coakley for Oxford City. They're in control here. Okay, guys, we need to close them down a bit more. Let's uh, demand more. Car now for Bassett with a run forward. He's got players left and right of him. Fisher. Oh. Defender got to it first and uh, forced a corner. Hetsky to take it. Into the middle. Cleared only as far as Garner. Garner dispossessed by Rodoni. Rodoni now for Oxford City. Back to Hogan. With a long ball forward. Picked up by Jonal. He was closed down well. All the defenders are around him. 
you know what, I'm going to make us. I'm not going to do anything. Well, those aren't fabulous stats, are they? One shot, one shot on target. But we're keeping them away, so. And position's not been fantastic either, so. We should encourage you. Yeah, we have been the better team, mostly. Kind of. I kind of believe it. Oh my. Well, Tom's not having a good old start, so let's say. I have faith. Go out there and show me what you want to do. Charlie Barger. I have faith, because I do. He's fabulous on the wing, though I am very pleased, of course, with uh, Mr. Garner, too. He's been doing all right. Obviously nothing fabulous today. All right. Let's start. Let's give him 10 minutes or so just to play around. Not Clark with a hoofing ball forward. Okay, well, Hetsky with a corner. Claim by West. He's got safe hands there, goalkeeper. I'll give him that. Only as far as Curtis Mir. With the ball forward. Looking for Fisher. Fisher runs onto it. Oh, gets a shot off, but blocked by the defender. Radoni. Saved by Mir, I think. Yeah. Good free kick for them, but uh, well saved. Treadwell to take the corner for Oxford. Okay, Radoni just outside of the box. Tries Fisher, clears it. Nice long ball forward. Only as far as their keeper. It'll do. We've picked up on uh, shots and shots on targets, so that's something. Come on. Let's get, let's get creative. I fancy our chances. Starting to push a bit harder now. All right. Time to bring on some players, I think. Tom Fisher, you have not improved. Danny Bollinger, who doesn't really like to play up front, is going to take over from you. And poor old Charlie Barker. Oh, crikey. Would Bollinger be better with you? Nope. This might be a job for Jamie Farrell. You know what? I take that back. I spent too long being quiet and thinking about that. I take that back. I'm just going to leave it like that and see how we get on. Seven shots, five on target. Not a great possession, but that's fine. Smalley with a free kick, pumps on towards the box. Cut out by Oxford, Treadwell now to Schilling. They seem to slow their pace down. Oh, intercepted by Demby. Out to Garner. Back to Demby. Carr now. Still with Carr. Gets uh, tackled there by Rodoni. I don't feel like we're uh, passing it around enough, really. Or making enough space. Let's try that. Bollinger. Up to Hetsky, Hetsky with a long one, and it's there. Bats it a 1 0 up. That was quite the uh, explosive appearance of Hetsky there. I barely noticed him all game. But uh, nice control there by Bollinger. Sees Hetsky on his wing. Boom. He doesn't mind his long shots. So I'm going to have to make sure that I put Hetsky to uh, lurk around the edge of the area during corners and stuff because that was pretty good. Yes, I, please keep tactic not now for Bassett to Carr to Hetsky. Putting it for Barker. Barker with the cross in. Bollinger on the end of it. It's 2 0. Not only are we getting revenge, we're getting 2 0 revenge. As long as we hold on to this. But yeah, that was fantastic. Look at Barker. Well done. 
Nine shots, seven on target. Curtis Meir with a goal kick. Over to Denby. Clark now, not. Not talk to you about Lewis and Clark. Or Lewis Clark, our new central defender. I do forget. I get too excited. Bollinger now takes a long shot and it's there. That's two shots now from outside the box that have gone in. One for Hetsky and one for Bollinger. Daniel Bollinger doesn't normally play there, but you know what? You might have to now. Because uh, nothing wrong with his control. He's pretty quick. And now it's pretty accurate. That means he'll only get about five games. Okay. Oxford City now with the cross in. Garner clears it. Bollinger now puts it out wide for Barker. He's got legs. Deep cross. P plucked out of the air by West. I think that's it for now. He might get to kick that, but we're only got about 30 seconds left. First house, Carr. Garner. First time onto Bollinger. That's his second or third? That's got to be his third. I suppose once you score one, you got to score three. Well, this is a fantastic result to get against Oxford City, let me tell you. Yeah, it was an offside. That was fantastic. Look at him. Looks like it's Hetsky and Ghana to start next match. Well, yeah, there's no time left, is there, really? Come, ref, you're going to blow that whistle. Because this is going nowhere. There we go. 4 nil. What a fabulous, fabulous way to... Uh, well, fabulous way to be on this episode. Fabulous way to end that match 4 nil. That's really, really good. I'm very happy. Manager 2 and Hales Owen now at home to St. Neots. In goal, we've got Folks. Back four of Kelly, Antonio... Beckett and Suckling with Green and Augustin, Augustian in central midfield. Left wing is Mr. Hooper. Attacking central midfield is Freeman with Demkiv out on the right. And up front, it's James Roberts. I don't know all these players all that well yet, but this is obviously the uh, Gagan Press 4 2 3 1 that you saw at Bista. I have uh, brought with me my style and I'm imprinting it on the team and uh, got a few goals last time but it also shows that uh, well we need some more defenders quite possibly or at least to tighten something up at the back anyway clear mind I'm expecting a win let's go out there and get a win okay Hells Owen in the blue with the yellow socks much like Bassett and St. Neots in the red with the black shorts. So, yeah, Hooper. Normally it's finished now. We're keeping uh, Hell Zones, keep them. There we go. Well, 86% possession. That's going to. There we go. That's going to come back a bit. You know what? I keep forgetting to work the ball in the box and do that. Okay, Beckett with the throw in. Freeman. Cox dispossesses him. Catton knocks it forward for St. It's in front of Mills. Mills takes a shot. Fulks gets in the way. Mills again. He's forced to corner. That's not ideal. St. Neots to take it. Glynn. Cleared by Demkov. Only as far as Hooper. Hooper now. Advancing. Quite possibly well. We've had two shots of one on. Like I say, oh, Beckett to Demkiv, Beckett again, Augustian suckling with a cross into the middle, Hooper rebounds off the keeper and has been, I nearly said Cooper, rebounds off the keeper, Mills, okay, so Neil's back with the ball, see that was a good effort, okay, they're chucking the ball forward for Mills again, he gets tackled, I think I'm going to encourage you to be creative and see how that goes. Because we've had six shots with four on target. Suckling now with the throw in as far as Freeman. Suckling again. Beckett. 
Beckett dispossessed by Packham. Mills. Goodness gracious. Yeah, we maybe need... Maybe it's a midfield issue or something. Something is not right here. Corner now for St. Neots. Glinda take it. Near post. Mills. Demkiv clears again. Freeman with a run on. Looking for support. He's been closed down very quickly. All right, go on. Get creative. You're not working hard enough. Looks like Suckling's having a good game. That's promising, but we need a bit more... Uh, we need some action. Well, we seem to have had the better of it. And I think I will encourage you. I'm going to be assertive. Keep it up. Poor old Jimmy Roberts is not having a good game, so I need to uh, maybe talk to him. See, I think Demkiv has been playing well, certainly defensively, so uh, better than his 6.5. I just realised I'm not even talking to you and I'm just doing this. I want to give them all an individual talk, see if I can pick them up a bit, because it does sometimes work, i found. I'm playing with it more, because I'm trying to learn more and more features about the game properly instead of just, you know, willy-nilly pressing of buttons and so on and so forth. I spent too much time playing Football Manager Touch, I guess. Yeah, I'm not happy. Let me listen keenly. All right, go on in. Sydney else with the kickoff. We'll see if that's improved anything for Hales Owen. I'm going to get them to. Oh, I'm going to get them to uh, show some passion. Go on, get fired up. Okay, Augustian taking a free kick. Oh, as far as back it, captured by Carney. Caught, captured. This is football. Suckling. With the ball, puts it through to Roberts. Nice one onto Augustian. Thought she puts it over, but that was a nice little move. We're getting creative there. That's good. Okay, I'm definitely going to bring somebody on instead of James Roberts. And I think it's going to be Jason Law, because I fought the law. And the law won. Boom, boom. All right. Okay. Demkiv is injured. That's not good. Well, twisted knee. Where is he? Who's going to go? Okay, Roland Agbor is coming on. As I say, I don't really know much about these guys. It will all become apparent as time goes along. Alrighty. So Mills to Alfosu. Hells Owen. Closing them down, but uh, Mills, Bakare, crosses it in. Oh, my God, onto the head of Packham. Sam Packham there with the header. Do you know what? I'm going to go attacking, and I'm going to yell at you lot to demand more, because that's not good enough. Okay, what else can we do here? I've only got a couple of minutes. It doesn't really seem worth it, does it? Let's not bother. Well, Hells Owen, you got a better of it, but why are you conceding goals and not scoring them? Edwards with a free of corner for a St. Neots. Final whistle. Yeah, I'm, I'm disappointed in that. I've got to be honest with you. Not just the result, but uh, I felt overall we were better, but I uh, couldn't convert those... Uh, couldn't convert those shots. Certain irony, the best player on the pitch was Ryan Suckling, who is, well, he was not really a right back, and that was where he was playing as a supportive wing back, in fact. Because not a first choice player, but yeah, that was really disappointing. I'm going to tell you also, very assertively. Well, you might be demotivated, but it's not just you, it's everybody. 
Let's finish with a review and Royal Wooten Bassett gloriously victorious over Oxford City Nomads 4-0 at home. Sees us go up the fifth to 34 points. We're still some way off the pace. Um, and we're heading towards, well, next game will in fact be halfway through the season. So we've got to build on this form, build on that performance because despite Tom Fisher, our new poacher, having a, well, horrific game, Everybody else had a fabulous one, and Bollinger let me know he wanted to start. So, not only am I going to start him, but I'm going to start taking bets for how long he stays with the club if he does well. Currently, he's on a youth contract, so maybe that'll keep him safe. Who knows? If we go over to manager two, Tails Owen, not such a great result losing 1 0 at home to St. Neots. Sees us in 14th on 24 points. We didn't catch up. Well, like I say, there's work to be done there. I'm not entirely sure I'm necessarily playing. I mean, it's it's new tactics for them. I know some of them are not that familiar with those tactics. It's got to be built upon, but there's definitely, definitely a need for, uh, I think, more players. Anyway, uh, popping back to two because I forgot to do it. If we look at the schedule, sorry, manager one even. I think we'll play out the rest of December and come back in January um, for the Bishops Cleave game and for Manager 2 at Hales Owen. We're going to come back for the St. Ives game. Anyway, if you enjoyed that, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more Football Manager videos. And thank you very much for watching. <laughs>